a materials list. Uh, that bottom part right there is just for the hinge. Alright, what you see there is all the material that's going to go into building a sheet metal brake. I've seen quite a few videos on making brakes, but they're all just standard brakes. What I'm going to try to do here is make a finger brake. I don't know how it's going to work. If this video ever makes it to YouTube, that means it worked. I'm going to start out with laying out the hinge. I'm going to cut all the way down into that. And we'll end up with a hinge point centered on the pivot point of, I don't know what you call it, the brake plate. I'm going to use this piece of tube. It's a DOM. I got a piece of three quarter rod that I'm going to put inside of it. Cut the corner off this with a plasma cutter. Now I need to get this, which is going to be my hinge over the top of this rod. Get this cut out right here so that this is low enough to be centered here and centered here at the center of that so that my pivot point is perfectly centered so I can make a square bend with this. So I've got these ground out for clearance. Um, if you're going to fold a piece of metal like that, you need a hinge. Well, maybe you need something a little heavier than that. I think this ought to do it. That'll lay in there, get welded. This will pivot it up. A little bit more clearance, but I'm pretty close to being on center right there. It's getting close to what I'm looking for. It's kind of warm out here today. I'm going to try this with the fan still running, see how bad this camera picks it up. Uh, spot welded my hinge to a piece of flat bar, hold it square. Back here in the very back corner, it's hard to get a good radius cut out. So I flattened the corners of the last pivot point a little bit. It won't affect the strength any because it'll be welded, you know, here and here, so bottom of it's not really for strength. But let's see if I can get this held in here. Looks pretty well centered on the pivot point. Now I just tack every other one to the either side of the hinge point, test it, see what happens, see how freely it moves. Just on one side, back side hasn't been welded yet, but a little bit stiff on this hinge right here. Looks like that uh, pivot point is right.
So this is the idea. This is basically going to be the uh, main bar of the brake. Everything below the cardboard is going to be welded together to make the fingers. That's going to have to be ground off to a 45 to be able to do more than a 90 degree bend. And there'll be a clamp bar above this to hold the fingers in place. Probably put gussets in here to give it more support. I'm not sure if I'm going to do this back set here or not. That'll give me a little bit of a spot to re-weld or brace in case any of this does not work. Uh, I don't know, I believe it'll be strong enough so I may just go straight right down to the edge. I'm going to make the whole length as one piece and then take a chop saw and cut them into sections one inch, two inch, four inch so that I got fingers for the brake. I've never seen this done before. This is all just ideas on a piece of paper right now. Getting ready to start welding up the finger assembly. Before I go any further though, I wanted to show you how I did this. Brought this out to the edge of the table so this is held up at the right angle, clamped it all down, then I took a grinder, went across it real slow and easy once I had it clamped in at exactly the right spot, went across it real slow and easy, got a good line all the way across it, and then just started going back and forth with the grinder setting against this. Uh, tip of my grinder rubs on it a little bit, got a little bit of swirl mark on it, but that's not going to hurt anything. Uh, Took like five grinding wheels to cut that off of there. There it is. And that's the last hole in that plate. Drilled holes all the way through, all the way down. That's going to get cut into section for the fingers. This is the back bar, main bar. Holes drilled in it. These holes will be tapped. It has a front plate that goes with it. This is the front plate that goes on it. It was tack welded both ends. And then pilot holes and the holes were drilled to the size that I need to tap them out. Now the upper plate will get holes drilled out all the way to quarter inch so a bolt will be able to go through that be threaded into this plate. Alright, I'm having to drill through these holes to clear for the spacer. I've been a small spacer, it may be kind of hard to see at an angle to make sure that this plate would slide in easy enough. So that angle comes down and as I was drilling holes in the drill press, of course it was moving around a little bit. So got it all clamped in place, drilling it to make sure that it's not going to be pushed up so that everything will be the right height when this seats in. Might be kind of hard to see that angle in this picture, but 
it'll all come together. Okay, well, now you can see how it's supposed to work. Fingers will come out of it like that. Tighten that bolt, lock it in place. And that'll bend the metal right over the tip, hopefully. Um, this is going to be the end plate. Spring underneath of it. This will be about this height. Got a piece of half inch all thread. I'm going to make a hold down bolt for it near the front. This spring will be tight enough, hopefully, so that it'll be able to lift it up enough for the fingers to come out. Because as you see, it's got to be that high for the finger to come out. And then that's the height installed. So I'll have to raise it up. Got two of these cut so far. I'm going to put a little gusset in the back edge of it, make it a little bit stiffer. Been cutting these with a chop saw. I have, in order to save blades, I've been swapping to this one, cutting most of the way through both sides and then cut the last of it with a new blade because it takes almost brand new blade, it takes all of it just to reach through. But first I was setting them up, I set it up this way first, cut it all the way down here, then I turn it, get it lined back up with the cut, set it this way, and cut down the back side all the way through. Well, you know how little kids are when they get a new toy, right? Well, as you can see, it ain't even together yet. It's sitting on a couple 4x4s. Four Probably fall off the bench. If it does, I'm going to try to jump on this table behind me. But, like I said, little kids with a new toy, I have to try it. I've already bent one of the bands. Tighten that down. Metal's wider than the finger, but... There it is. So it works on thin metal. Well, it ain't even together yet, but...